Okay. Trying to remember where exactly we left off. It's been a second. Looks like there's some new quests up here. Oh, no, no, I remember accepting both of these quests. Um, What did you want again? Ugh. Oh, yeah, he was talking about his dad, who was at night. I don't think I... I, I remember thinking I needed something else in order to beat these quests. So I'll just ignore them for now. I can always backtrack. Uh, hang on. Um, there we go. Yeah, I can always backtrack. Well, hello there. <laughs> Just some person knocked out on the ground. Alright, let's take a look at our map. So, we have two more party members to collect. We have the scholar and the merchant. I don't know how I never noticed these, like, moving boats and stuff before. What a cool map. Anyway, yeah, so I need to do those two, and then I'll have my full party of eight. What is my current lineup? It's my soldier. Uh, we have the archer. Uh, I believe she is considered a hunter. Uh, the cleric, who I just unlocked, and then thief. This is definitely not the party I want to, like, permanently run. I mean, I don't know. I, I believe the idea is that you, like, swap people in and out. I think it's bad to have party members that are super over-leveled. Um. Oh, I have to leave out of a different path, I think. Yeah, I need to go left outside of town, which will bring me up. So that I can go south. Okay. It's a good day for battle. Well, hello there. Out of my way. I need an AoE fire attack. I will cut you down. All right, it's been a while. It's been a whole week since I played. What I'm gonna have to remember what the heck I'm doing. Peaceful piano music. Okay. <laughs> um. So let's see, yeah, I should be... Yeah, so now I need to just go to the right. There is no 
choice. Oh my. <laughs> Deep has like no AoE at all. He's just kind of here. The battle is truly joined. I don't really know if there's much point. It costs a lot of mana. Arrow storm. This ability is so good. It costs too much mana though at the moment. Um, oh, you know what? Sure. Never miss it. Let the sacred flame shine forth. The battle is truly joy. Oh, that was the wrong ability. <laughs> Come Whoopsie. In, if thou you know what? That's fine. We're going to pop off. Overkill. Thou didst fight his coach. I think uh, my current party seems good if I swap the thief for somebody. Let us fight with honor. Out of my way. Maybe the dancer, since she also uses dagger. I don't know. I'm just not crazy about the thief's abilities. I think they're kind of stinky. The battle is truly joy. <laughs> Come in, if thou darest. Well then. <laughs> Victory shall be mine. Okay. Uh, some reason I thought the guy was weak to arrow. There we go. Okay. I honor I'm interested to see what the scholar does because I assume they're like good with magic. I wonder what their primary weapon's gonna be. All right, new area. Looks like I need to go south to get to the city. I feel like they did a really good job here going now, from the ice land into grass. <laughs> what are what are those? What are those guys? Alright. Dagger? No. The battle is truly joy. Uh, let's do AoE sword. Any of you guys speak to sword? No. Come in if thou darest. How about bow? Use. Hey, quit, quit bullying my healer, dude. That's rude. 
This is rude, man. Yeah. Oh. I will not be Staff, huh? My I checked them all for sword already. Um, let's do this. Alright, um, so the frogs are weak to bow. What about those pig things? Let's just go crazy, I think. Okay, pigs also. A lot of miss. A lot of misses. I think. I only have 30 of these, you know? Only 30. I gotta be careful about how many I use. Yeah, like how, how good they did the ice into grassland thing. It's like partially frozen and it gets warmer. I mean, the entire world is just insanely pretty, to be fair. Okay, we need to go south. Come on, I've got better things to do. Frog boys. My turn. Um, God, the thief is just so useless. Miss it to me. The battle is truly joined. Um, I don't know. Just smack a frog, Let I guess. Fly and true. Well then. Let's see if they're weak to, uh, that. Yeah. Oh, they are. <laughs> Bad frog. Victory shall be mine. This should, like, kill all of the ads. Oh, just kill all of them, period. With each battle, I grow stronger. I guess that works, dude. Yeah. Let's go. I have this random, like, knight following me still. Let us fight with honor. Hmm. Big sheepy? Are you weak to dagger? God dang it. <laughs> Come and One day. The battle is truly joined. Dang. Um. Okay, I tried. I wonder if there's like a delay turn action. That would actually be kind of good. Bad frog. Coming if thou You. All right, Frogo dead. I'll not be defeated. Do, 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 do. Oh, I assume that does more damage than smacking him with your Coming. staff. <laughs> he did not die. Ouch. The battle is truly out of my way. My turn. My turn now. Oh, you put him to sleep. That's rude. My turn. Oh my god, please. Please. <laughs> now then. Out of my way. 
I wonder what else he's weak to. Bow and what? I've tried all the typical weapons, so it must be some sort of magic. Could be fire, maybe? Out of my way! Letting my arrow fly in. Holding back. There we go. Ta -da. Ta -da. I'll not be defeated. Just here I go! Who's that dude? That's pretty pathetic. <laughs> pathetic damage. Please just die. There we go. With each battle, I grow strong. All right, Hanit has leveled up. No, Jihu, my son, lay down. Okay, what are you doing? Um, you know, I don't know if I was supposed to go this way. It was the danger level, actually, as well. I wasn't paying attention. Danger level? 15? I mean, I'm well within reasonable range to deal with that. <clears throat> but I think I need to go south. For story. Lot even. Yeah, here we go. Now I can go into the city. Let's save, I guess. Um, I do need to swap to herbalist for the towns, I feel like. Oh. Froggies. <laughs> Chihu, you literally just left and now you're coming back. Okay, bud. Lay down. Or or don't, I guess. You do as you wish. I will not be defeated. Okay, so this is where AoE is good. Chihu. No, what are you doing, bud? Lay down. Don't burn your tail. I have a candle lit. His, his tail is getting awfully close to the candle. Um, I mean, this is just gonna absolutely murder them, right? I will cut you down. Yeah. I mean, my warrior is just like way higher level than everyone else. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. The battle is truly joyful. What is this frog's other weakness? It's not dagger, it's not sword. Oh, it must be axe or bow. It's gotta be one of those two, obviously. I keep forgetting about axe. Okay. Let's start by... Oh, I can't swap out my characters? Oh, this is the inn. I need to swap out my characters. Um... It's gonna be... Oh, oh, ah, over here. You? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, I need Alfin. Maybe instead of Hanit, actually? Just for the... Just for the, like... Exploring the city part. Because Hanit's ability is basically the same thing as Ulbrich's. Primrose's ability is basically the same thing as Ophelia's. Um... And he has unique one, Steel. And he can gather info on people. Yeah. This is the big one. Inquire. Yep. Hidden item. Let's go. Hoggers. It's also steel if you have anything 100%. 
An ingredient used in a dish for the king. Sure. I feel like that's a quest item. <laughs> Acquire. A hidden item. Let's go. Only take things with 100%. So I don't ruin my uh, reputation in town. Can't you talk to that guy? This is the armor. Um, I'm not going to buy anything right away. The fact that there's more staves here makes me think that uh, maybe the scholar uses a staff. Interesting. But anyway, there's probably someone here in town who's going to unlock better equipment in there. So I'm not going to worry about buying anything. Another hidden item. Let's go. 100%. 100%. I do feel bad kind of just running around stealing from people, but it's part of the game mechanics. Oh, there's another ingredient for the king. Yeah, those have to be quest items. Smarter bartering. You have a better chance at getting a discount when you purchase items. Interesting. Anything useful? No, you just sell basic stuff. Hello, sir. Let's count at the end. Cool. Do, do, do. More ingredients. New weapons for sale. Nice. Smith and Armor have new wares. And I'm curious as to what those will be. Oh, item. Nice. What you got? Oh my god. Yeah, way more expensive items available. Uh, Mage's Staff. and I think Oak Staff was already there. Mage's Staff is, I j I'm assuming, just a step up. Yeah. That's pretty nutty. I mean... The physical attack is just absolutely pathetic, but these characters, I assume, rely on elemental attack anyway. Um, This is new? The fur coat? It's a lot of defense. Um, Interesting. Do, 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 do. I don't remember these being here before either. Okay. Um, there is a hidden item over here that I missed. Hello. Oh, nourishing nut. Nice. Okay. Hello there. Hello there. Guide with ease. Okay, makes it easier for me to guide people if if I need to do that. Cool. Soothing seed. Okay. Um yeah, I did not see the scholar, so I assume he's going to be up this way. Yep, there he is. I'm going to keep... Ex well, no, I probably shouldn't explore. Another hidden item. Because um, it seems like there's always more NPCs after you finish the quest. So I should be doing all this exploring and NPC stuff after I do the quest. Hmm, yes. I think I know now who stole that tome. Perhaps I should have a little chat with him, just to make sure we all understand one another. I have no idea what this guy's voice is like. <clears throat> His name is Cirrus. He is a scholar. 
This is Atlas Down, nestled in the fertile plains of the Flatlands. It is home to the Royal Academy, where many scholars study night and day to the light. What oops, that words to the light? No, to bring light of knowledge to the royal family and all the realm. I apparently I just can't read right now. I'm gonna take a drink real quick. My brain is lagging. Oh, there we go. He passes his days in the halls of the great library, devouring tomes to his heart's content. It is in that library where he learns of a grievous theft. Certain that one of his fellow scholars is the culprit, Cyrus sets out alone to confront the man in his shadowy subterranean study. He will need wise allies on the path he has chosen. Cool. Let's do the uh, story. Oh, I have to yeet somebody. Uh, okay. So I will probably be doing... I guess all the lowest level people possible in my party. So that. Um, that. It's fine, I think. And so it was that Atlas Dam was founded some two centuries ago. Indeed, our fair city-state is among the longest standing on the continent of Austera. But there was another city-state with a history as long and proud as our own that came to a tragic ruin only eight short years ago. Now, who can tell me its name? How about you, Therese? He has, he has two students? I guess it's like a... <laughs> I, um, I think it was... I think it's like a private tutoring, almost. Now, now. No need to get all flustered. There's no shame in not knowing an answer, so long as you have a desire to learn. The answer is in your textbook. Go on now, look it up. Yes, Professor. Oops, I cut off her dialogue. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I believe it was Hornberg. That is correct. Hornberg was ruled over by a royal family, said to be descended from priests of an ancient and long-forgotten religion. On the other hand, our fair Atlas Dam was founded by one of the original clans that inhabited the Flatlands. Who can tell me how many clans lived in the Flatlands at the time? Your Highness? Histories have it that eight clans did live in the Flatlands in those days. Correct you are, Your Highness. It was a time of great strife here in the Flatlands, as the eight clans waged a long and bitter war. Change would come when the armies of Grandport invaded these lands some two centuries ago. At the time, the rulers of Grandport sought to exert their influence over territories inland. Ironically, this compelled the warring tribes to put aside their differences and unite against their common foe. Oh, but look at the time. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. Don't forget to read chapters three and four before our next lecture. And be prepared to answer questions on any of the material within. Yes, Professor. 
Okay, so I mean, I must be a pretty renowned scholar if I'm teaching Thank the princess. Thank you for another most stimulating lecture, Professor Albright. Professor Albright. Hello? Ah, Professor Albright. Mercedes from the Royal Library came by with a message for you. Seems today's your lucky day. You've been granted permission to enter the special archives. Splendid! Finally, I can begin my research. The library is just outside the palace. I'd best make haste. But what if there's <gasps> treasure? Hello. Treasure's down below. Treasure's down below. I see treasure. Treasure down below. No. I don't want to go down there. That's where the story is. I don't want story. I want treasure. I see so much treasure. I don't think I can get to it right now. So I guess I have to do story. Gross. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, that's not the stairs that I came down. What the heck? <laughs> Professor? Professor Albright. <sighs> oh my god, I'm being fought over by waifus. <laughs> oh, oh man, I have to do another girl voice. Uh, oh, thank the heavens you're still here. I thought I had missed you. <laughs> I'm so bad at it. Your Highness. What can I do for you, Your Highness? The truth of the matter is... If you can spare some time, I had a question about something we learned today. But of course! Your Highness, it would be my pleasure to answer anything. Mm -hmm. After all, my role as your tutor is as important to me as any of my research. Unfortunately, I cannot spare much time. Is the question a quick one? Indeed. Yes, Professor, it will not take long. Just wondering about the ancient religion of Hornburg. Pray tell, what did they worship? Very astute of you. A very astute question, Your Highness. However, I feel that nearly all the texts detailing the nature of the religion were burned and lost when Hornburg fell. Huh? I see. A shame at that. The truth is... I do, however, have a theory of my own. I believe that the royal family of Hornburg were guardians of an ancient power. Mind you, this is not idle speculation. My theory is based on the fact that... Yada 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 chat chat chat. Therese is sad. Sag. I wonder if I even have the Sag emote. Do I have? Do I do I have Sag? I I don't have Sag. Feels Sag, man. <laughs> let us continue. Uh, let us continue the discussion. Oh, I I clicked back in and it With skipped the text. Pleasure. No need for apologies, and it would be my pleasure, Your Highness. That such questions occur to you is a sign of a sharp and curious mind. I thank you. Your lectures on the history of the realm are most fascinating to me. For if I do not learn our past, how can I hope to lead my people to a bright future? Indeed. A most admirable philosophy, Your Highness. The people of this land are truly fortunate to be led by one of such wisdom and kindness. As I am... Uh, blah, 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 blah. As I am fo truly fortunate to have the opportunity to serve in some small way. You are far too kind, Professor Albright. I am proud to be your student. Ah. Oh dear, I am running late. Good day. Pray do not forget your assignment, your highness. Fair 
well. Of course. Of course, Professor. Ah, Therese. Yes, do you have a question for me? Let his voice acting go for it. No. Uh, I mean, n no. Good day, Professor. Oh no. Hello there. It's me, Cyrus. Good day, Mercedes. Cyrus Albright, here to browse the special archives. Oh, Professor Albright, you're looking quite eager today. Mm -hmm. When I heard that the that an original copy of The Church of the Flame, a complete history, had been donated through our archives, I simply had to be the first to see it. I see. You're more on top of your collection than I am. Just sign here. With pleasure. What he said. Hmm, is something amiss? Actually... Well, someone known as the most brilliant mind in the Royal Academy. <laughs> when you talk about books, you're as giddy as a schoolboy. <laughs> when you put it that way, yes. Much as a child is fascinated by a new toy, I am titillated by the prospect of acquiring new knowledge. I couldn't say titillated with a I straight see. face. I Right, the expression on your face says it all. Oh, I got a fluffy boy on my lap. Gee hoo, kitty cat, hello. Anyway, everything seems to be in order. Enjoy your quest for knowledge, Professor. Many thanks. Many thanks, dear. I most certainly will. What have we here? How odd. The tome is nowhere to be found. Did someone return it to the wrong shelf? Hmm, not here either. An interesting dilemma. These archives are strictly guarded and curated. Wherever could it have gone? Professor Albright! The headmaster would like to see you at once. <sighs> of all the times. Oh well, might I ask you for a favor? Hmm? What might that be? The truth is... The tome I mentioned before seems to have gone missing. Could you locate it for me? I see. She'll begin looking for it at once. Many thanks. My dear. Cyrus Albright, by your request, sir. Do enter. My apologies for summoning you on such short notice. How might I be of assistance, Headmaster? Voice acted. That treatise on arcane studies you published. What in the gods' names were you thinking? Sir? I do believe I made my hypothesis perfectly clear. I'm not talking about your hypothesis. You went out of your way to cite one of the texts in our special archives. The knowledge housed in those tombs is the Royal Academy's greatest treasure. It is not to be divulged to the public at your whim. Laying it bare in one of your silly papers is out of the question. I am 
fully aware of the value of those tones, Headmaster. It is for that very reason I would share the knowledge with my peers. You are to share nothing! That wisdom is for the Academy and the Academy alone! But that goes against everything... Enough, Cyrus! Even my best argument is sure to fall on deaf ears. The Headmaster sees knowledge as a metal or precious stone. Something to be appreciated by its rightful owner alone. Knowledge is power, and power is to be hoarded. An unfortunate attitude, indeed. My sincere apologies, Headmaster. It won't happen again. Is there anything else you need of me? That is all. You may go. Wait! There was one last thing. Sir? I heard the special archives will be closing early today. If you have research to do there, I would do so quickly. Good gods. It's as if he enjoys watching me suffer. Thank you for your concern, Headmaster. In that case, I'll be on my way. He does a better prim and proper voice than I do, for sure. And, uh... Oh. Excuse me. What's the matter? Hmm. Uh, um... It's about Professor Albright, sir. What is going on? Back to the library we go. Whee! Library. Can I help you? Ah, oh, Professor Albright. A moment of your time. Did you have any luck finding the tome? My apologies. I'm afraid not. Say it is not so. Well, this is most unfortunate. One might conclude that it has been stolen. Actually... Professor, taking books out from these archives is strictly forbidden. As you know, the keys to the vault are entrusted only to a select few. Quite honestly, it would be easier to steal the crown off the king's head. A hole. Hmm. An impreg impregnable, oh boy, an impregnable vault, a disappearing tome. It would seem we have quite the mystery on our hands. And the mysteries of the world are meant to be solved. Or so the scholar in me says. Would you not agree? I, I'm bad at the, the pompous voice. If it had been stolen, I would say it it's a job for the city guard. But I can see you won't let it go until you've cracked the case, as it were. Indeed! You could say that indeed. A habit I just can't seem to break. Once a puzzle is placed before me, I simply cannot rest until I've worked out a solution. I see. Be it far for me to stand in your way? Must be tough being a genius. Leave it to me. Ha ha ha. I'll not deny it. Worry not. The tome will be back on the shelf before you can bat an eyelash. Take care. Best of luck in your search. Time to do some research. The game is afoot. Mm. Squeaky po squeaky po squeaky po squeak. Alright, goodbye. Oh. Now, where to begin my search? I suppose I should inquire with Mercedes as to where the keys of the library are stored. The guard at the front door would know who has been frequenting the library lately, as might my fellow scholars. 
Then mayhap I should pay the headmaster a visit as well. I can scrutinize. Path actions. Utilize each character's unique action to overcome any obstacle. Press J. Cyrus can scrutinize and gleam new knowledge from the townspeople. Oh, wait, so it's the same thing. It's literally just the same thing as the, uh, the healer. Kind of, right? Well, the healer just chats with them, and this guy scrutinizes. Hello, sir. Scrutinize. I wonder if they give different knowledge or if they give the same thing. Testimony. Of course I've got a key to the archives. And no, I wasn't sleeping. I was resting my eyes, that's all. But even if I was sleeping, what would it matter? What kind of fool would bother stealing a worthless tome anyway? The guard situation. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Sleeping on the job. So I'm assuming that this and the uh, alchemist, uh, or technically he's an apothecary. Apologies. This guy and the apothecary, I think their special abilities overlap. Testimony. The key to the archives. Oh, I haven't got that, but I'm surprised someone stole a tome considering what they're worth. I have gambling. Oh, I'm not surprised someone stole a tome considering what they're worth. I've got gambling debts myself, so I understand the temptation. Damn it, Russell. Gambling is bad. Don't gamble, kids. Just play video games instead. <laughs> Where you can also spend all of your money gambling on gotcha rolls. Testimony. Only Headmaster Yvonne and the guard stationed outside should have a key to the library archives. Alright, so the Headmaster did this. Problem solved. Dang it, Headmaster. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Can I? I can scrutinize random people. A hidden item? PP Poggers. It's right there. Um, oh, here. That. It, it. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, it definitely overlaps with the uh, apothecary because I didn't scrutinize this guy as the scholar. I scrutinized him as the apothecary. So, their scrutinized abilities do indeed overlap. I feel like there's going to be a chest up back here somewhere. No? Okay. I thought for sure there'd be like a hidden item. Unlucky. Well, howdy do there. Uh, this was not the place with all the random chests. This would be a school of sorts. Possibly even the academy. As they said. Do -do -do. Don't mind me, just looking for loot. There does not appear to be any. And thus I am sad. Let's see now. Testimony. Uh, I forgot what that guy's voice was like. You know full well I have a key to the special archives, and that I would never be so foolish as to let it fall into the wrong hands. In any event, I have no I've had no reason to peruse the tomes in quite some time. Most intriguing. He has a key, this is true, but the dust gathered on it suggests he has not used it lately. Okay, it was not the headmaster. Splendid. That should be all the information I need to solve the case. Who possesses keys? Headmaster the guard. But of course! It all makes sense now. There are only two keys to the archives. One belonging to the headmaster and one to the guardsman. Whose key was used to unlock the archives? The guards. The headmaster's key is safely locked away in his office. Furthermore... He hasn't visited the archives today. On the other hand, the guard has been acting suspiciously of late. 
even sleeping while on active duty. A hole. It would be all too easy task to lift the key off his person. So is it possible that the god is our man? Ah, uh, no. He would have no motive. The culprit must be someone who understands the true value of the tome. Which just which is to say, one of my colleagues. And most likely, one who has accrued a frightful gambling debt. Oh no, Russell. Which means that... Put it all together, and our villain is... Russell. Yes. Indubitably. That shifty scholar, Russell. But why would he still be in the, in the area if he stole the tome? He's just chilling inside the archives. Bing chilling, as they say. Yes, I dare say my logic is foolproof. Shall we begin? Now all that remains is to find our man and make him confess to the crime. Word has it he's been doing his research underground these days. Yeah, bleh. can't get my accent on. <clears throat> now then. I think it's time I did some field work of my own. And so I have taken it upon myself to investigate this suspicious scholar. Interested in coming along, are you? It seems you have quite the curious streak yourself. But, of course, mysteries exist only to be solved. After all, it is of utmost importance to remember that. Ah, but there I go again. Don't let me talk your ear off. But I will be glad for your help. Let's get right to business then. No doubt we'll find Russell in his laboratory below. Okay. We save. 